wonderment of an archaeological dig uncovering history. What digs are underway in this state and for what? My guest is Dr. Sarah Sportman, Connecticut State Archaeologist, Office of State Archaeology. Welcome to you. Thank you. And is the office housed at UConn? Yes, it's at UConn. Okay, so that's easy. All right, what sparked you to become an archaeologist? When I was a child, I was always obsessed with history. And um, growing up in New York, my grandparents lived up in the Adirondacks, and my dad used to take me to Fort Crown Point all the time in the summer. They had a little museum with all the artifacts that they'd found over the years. And I just, from that point on, it was just something I always wanted to do. All right, so you're the big kahuna in the state doing that now, <laughs> originally from New York. Um, what digs are underway right now? Well, there's a lot of archaeology happening in the state all the time, and I think that's something people don't often realize. Um, so we have a lot of research projects that are happening through my office, but there are also projects happening related to development activities all across the state that are being done by private companies and things of that nature as well. And what do we find beneath the ground? We have some pictures. What what are we finding beneath the ground that, that tells us about history and, and who we were? So Connecticut has an incredibly rich history, or what the land that is now Connecticut, I should say, has an incredibly rich history. Um, human occupation here goes back almost 13,000 years, and we have archaeological evidence of people living here all of these time periods. So we have indigenous people living here on the landscape all the way back to that time and continuing to live here today. Um, we also have archaeological deposits and research projects related to the early colonial period, including a site that my office has been working on for more than 10 years now in Glastonbury called the Hollister site. Um, there are sites related to the African-American history of Connecticut, the industrial history of Connecticut, um, the military history of Connecticut. So there's all kinds of things beneath our feet that can kind of flesh out the historical stories that are here and give us a more tangible connection to the past. Your most important find to date or maybe surprising one? Um, I have to say Maybe at the Hollister site, which is the site that we're working on um, in Glastonbury. This site goes back to around 1650 to 61711. It's an English farm. Um, it's right on the fringe of English colonial settlement. And we're finding evidence of a very kind of close collaborative relationship or cooperative relationship between the English residents there and their um, Native American neighbors, the Wongong tribe in, um, in Glastonbury. Wow. All right. So can people, can anybody get in on these digs? Is, is there a way to do that so they can watch or see what's going on? Sometimes there is. Um, we have an organization that supports my office, the Friends of the Office of State Archaeology. This is a volunteer organization. You can join, um, get information about ongoing projects. You can volunteer um, in the field and in the lab and join us on some of these um, excavations. So um, that, and it's also a great way to just keep up with what's going on with the archaeological community in the state in general. So, so very interesting. Dr. Sportman, thank you so much for coming on and giving us an idea of what's going on beneath the ground in the state. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. And if you'd like to find out more about Dr. Sportman's work in the Office of State of Archaeology, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app.